Hi, hello you guys, my name is Ella. welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video is going to be a little bit different as you can probably already tell. I am filming with my vloggy camera which I finally can use again. The screws from the back were a bit flimsy so I couldn't use it all this time. And to be fair with you, using my DSLR to film is just a little bit of a hassle. I have to put so many lights on, I have to have the viewfinder. And yeah, it's just a little bit too nerve wracking for me and quite of a long process, if I'm honest. And I kind of miss having like those sit down talk moments where I can just document parts of my life and just be a little bit more casual if you want. And with uh, December coming up, it's actually 30th of November, the day that I'm filming this. A lot of people do vlogmas, which is, if you don't know, where you vlog every day. I don't think I'll be doing that, but I do think that I'll be, sorry, uh, doing a lot more vlogs. I'm playing around with, I don't even know where this is from. I think it's from uh, my camera. But as I was saying, I won't be doing vlogmas, but I will be vlogging a little bit more as December is usually a very busy month for me. There's a lot of events happening, a lot of exciting things with Christmas. I finally have my new place, which as you can hear, uh, yeah, these are noises. I live next to a road, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem. But yeah, a lot of exciting things, decorating and all that stuff. I even put up my Christmas tree yesterday, which uh, I'm actually not done yet, but I'm really, really happy and proud with it. And even turn on the fireplace. Just for that, a little bit more atmosphere in here. But I thought I would start off today by kind of showing you a couple of pieces that I have been playing around with that, like last week. I wanna say I've had this for a couple of days now, some I've had a lot more and some unboxings, but there are things that I've been really enjoying and you guys like them too on Instagram. So I wanted to show them to you in here. And first up, we got this big, um, parcel from Diesel. I've been working with Diesel for a couple of years now and I always love their stuff. I feel like they're so underrated because you think of Diesel for their jeans but there's so many more things that they do. I personally think that their leather stuff or even just their jackets, outerwear, knitwear, they have some really really cool pieces. So I just mailed uh, my friend there hoping to loan a couple of things for me to try on and play around with. And I posted one of the photos yesterday, which I'm gonna try to include somewhere, and you guys loved that jacket so much. And it is this biker style jacket from their newest collection. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not the hugest fan of biker jackets, but since I've been experimenting lately with more leather options like my leather like trousers from ASOS and then my GMB8 vinyl trousers. I thought that's a kind of a natural progression for me to try something like this and I really, really love it. I love the feel of this and I just love how cool and like wearable it is. I feel like with a lot of uh, leather jackets, you just kind of miss the fashion element in it, but I think that this jacket blends it perfectly. I'm gonna try it on later just so you guys can see how it looks but you may have already seen me post it on Instagram. So that's a great, great piece. It also has some cool details with a sleeve here that says DSL from Diesel and then the padded like arms and it has that uh, worn effect in some places as well. Really love the color block pattern of this. It's just a really fun jacket in my opinion and I think they currently also have it for 30% off. I checked the website because the other item that I'm about to show you, I'm contemplating so hard on buying this because that is definitely my style and I am talking about this diesel bomber jacket. You guys like, this is so beautiful. <sighs> I am obsessed with this guys, like I feel like this is so me. It is a simple idea and a simple line that they executed with a little bit more spiciness, like the full on patches that it has everywhere, not only on the front, but they are at the back too. And I feel like the back is even cooler because well, obviously the front you have the zipper so it cuts out the, the patches, but in the back you can really see it shine. I am so in love with this. I think they have it 
as I said, also 30% off. To me, this is probably the front runner as to what I would get myself for Christmas. I always love their jacket. I have the leather black jacket that I got a couple of years ago and I always get complimented on it. I feel like they just know how to do really expensive looking jackets. So when you find something like on 30 to 50% off on sale, you just gotta have to pick it up and I think that this is what I'll be doing. One of the problems of loaning so many items is that you just end up wanting to keep the majority of them and if you can't keep them, then you wanna buy them and that's what happens with me. More often than not really. I think I also have a need which I probably go with me uh, at the hotel over the weekend. So let me try and find these and I'll come back to you with the rest of the items. Okay, so I am back and I think there's something happening outside but hopefully you can hear me. But this is the knit that I was talking to you guys about. I saw it online as I didn't do a store visit this time and I just really like the color of this. Definitely not something that I wear often and it gives that like heavy knit vibe but it's actually quite thin and also it's not itchy which I always have a problem with what whenever I'm wearing like something wool and it's itchy it just makes me sweat so much more I don't know what it is the wool on naked skin it's always always a no for me and if I wear a t-shirt then it's another additional layer which means also more sweat it's just always super messy with me. Anyways, I don't even know where I was going with this, but I really like the color of this and the material and the texture. It's giving me more like a grand vibe, so I would definitely wear it, pair it more with like just a jeans and like a high boot or something like that, and maybe a leather jacket, but probably neither of the two. I would feel like it would need more of like a loose leather jacket. I think the previous ones that I just showed you, I got them in a size medium, but I could have definitely sized up to a large. I think what I keep forgetting is with like winter you want to make sure that you have space to like layer up heavier needs and when you go like on your size it's just not really working. I would probably suggest if you are thinking about purchasing either of the two jackets that you do size up. But yeah, that is pretty much about Diesel. I'm also going to show you since we are sitting right here and it's really warm and I'm really liking the background for once. Uh, I'm gonna show you also my order from Matches Fashion, which again, if you follow me on Instagram, you have definitely seen this before as I've had these items for a while now, but I thought I would show them to you here too and there are two knits that I am absolutely obsessed with and first one is this Isabel Marant knit which is so so beautiful first of all not only the design is beautiful I love all the colors but also the feel of this is just incredible I love anything that is oversized and more boxy fit and this is straight up my alley I usually wear this uh, with uh, an oversized shirt that I got from Zara many many years ago but I think ASOS have some alternatives which I usually link for you guys because I get a lot of questions of that shirt but I always make sure to either layer it up with an oversized t-shirt or that shirt because it is very thick and wooly and it could give me that irritation. I feel like it even looks better if you layer it up and have like some of the either the t-shirt or the shirt walking out. I think it makes it look even more interesting and dimensional but I love Isabel Moran needs. I always try to um, check what they have every like winter season. I feel like their winter stuff are definitely a lot more interesting in my opinion than their summer things. And this year they did not disappoint me at all. And next up, the last item that I got, which I'm not going to lie to you, I'm probably not going to keep. I still have the tag on this one. And that is because I ended up getting it in a size large, which is, well, a lot bigger than what I should have gotten. I probably should have gone for either a small or a medium. And I am talking about this army knit. I saw this to you guys when I visited Harrods a couple of weeks ago when I saw this. I love this so much. It's like a black knit with a turtleneck, like a really cool, nice material, like a ribbed turtleneck. And then it has the white stripes and the Ami Classic logo in here. Really, really beautiful knit. I feel like it's one of my favorites that they have produced in a while and I've worn many of them. But as I said, 
I just think that it's a little bit too oversized for me. I, I'm probably gonna wait for the sale now considering we are going into December and Ami always does a great sale. I have a couple of things that I got from them from years ago and I think all of them I got for like 50% off. I'm not really sure if this one is going to be on sale. A lot of times they keep their classic items full price and if I was Ami, like I find this to be such a classic piece, like I would always have it in my collection. But I think I will still wait and see because, well, who doesn't love a sale? Now, next up is another item which I haven't opened yet. I think it came yesterday while I was away at the hotel. I was uh, at the Log Hotel, which is one of my favorites to shoot content at. But this item from Farfetch arrived in a very interesting, like, envelope it usually is always a box so i was like what happened did i order like a vinyl or something but i think i know what it is and we're gonna try it together but this should be uh okay now it makes sense it actually came from browns and not farfets hence why it was in an envelope but brown since they are uk based their uh, sipping time are a little bit faster than Farfetch. Let me open this and try this on as I'm really excited for this. I ended up getting another, yet another Marine Sir long sleeve tight fitting t-shirts. Now this one, we're gonna try together. I'm not really sure actually. I did not remember how the style of the t-shirt is, but I love like anything from them. They always have such fun and spicy designs. Now I'm not really sure about this one. I feel like it looked better online. Not really sure what's happening here, but we're gonna try it together and we're gonna see if we like it or not. But I do like the fact that it's brown and red. I feel like it's giving more autumnal vibes. Even though nothing screams cozy about having a tight fitting t-shirt on your body, I feel like it's a their interpretation of autumn. And yeah, I'm gonna try this on along with everything else. But I think that is pretty much it in this like video. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's try them on together. Okay, so first up, obviously I had to go with my favorite item from what I just showed you. And this is the diesel bomber jacket. I cannot move any further back because of the table. But I hope you guys get the idea. And it's such, such a beautiful beautiful fit i feel like it's quite oversized but i think with this one the medium probably works fine because even though i have it layered with the hoodie and a white tee it still closes and it has that perfect boxy fit that i like but yeah overall just really really loving this one i'm gonna try and move a little bit more at the back just so you guys can see the fit a little bit better but really Really loving this one, just a perfect like everyday jacket that's still really, really beautiful. And moving on, a fan favorite. I wasn't expecting you guys to like this so much. I think from between the two jackets, like you guys really went crazy for this one and I can definitely see why. I just never imagined myself to be that person that can pull this off, but I think I personally think it looks incredible. But if you convinced me to want to wear a leather motorsport jacket, then it must be a really great piece. The only issue with it is, as I was saying earlier, but even though I'm only wearing a t-shirt, it still doesn't close. So I definitely need to size up on this. Maybe they didn't send me a medium, maybe this is a small, but I'm gonna leave um, the sizing on the description below. I'll also probably, I can check it out after this. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know why I'm complicating things, but I do love this jacket. I love the colors of it and I love the whole color block pattern that it has. And also like really, really fun and cool detailing. I feel like Diesel just always kills it with a jacket, as I said earlier. And I'm a big, big fan of this one. I also want to try it on with the leather pants like I did on my Instagram before I try on the knit, which is the last item from my Diesel like unboxing, I guess. And this is with the leather pants on, which I feel like is such a look. I think this is what is great about this sort of jacket. 
that you can wear it as an everyday piece but you can also really really go there and spruce it up with something a little bit more exciting underneath i love this look so much i'm wearing an oversized t-shirt at the moment since i was wearing it with my hoodie earlier but with a more tight fitting t-shirt i think this is so so good i think this is probably like my favorite way to style this jacket because if i'm gonna go like leather i want to go full on leather okay so the jacket is a medium which then means that this runs a little bit smaller than the bomber jacket so i would definitely suggest you guys size up to a one possibly even two sizes the last diesel item we got this purple knit and i don't know like i'm not really sure of this one i feel like it makes me a little bit wider than i am I do love the color of it and i feel like it almost like reflects on the light like look how much more vibrant the colors are at the moment but maybe for my body type who i am a little bit wider than most people uh yeah i don't think it's very flattering for me i mean it's like a little bit farther too maybe i was too close to the mirror yeah i'm not really sure about this one it's such a shame because i do love the color and like the type of knit that it has moving on with a tried and tested item this is just incredible it feels so good to have this on just love all like the detailing that it has i love also the neckline it sort of like wraps around your neck to keep you warm which is really needed especially here in london and most importantly i just adore the fit of this like do you see how much nicer in my opinion this sits to the previous one even though it's a lighter color which should make me feel even more uh, bigger and like hate myself i feel like the really fun drop shoulders and oversized fit just makes this make sense obviously again i'm wearing my like skinnier jeans probably the skinniest pair that i have which is still straight leg but something with a little bit more um wide leg i think it would make more sense i'm gonna actually put a picture somewhere here just so you guys can see how i usually style this but i love this one and on to another fave i mean it's do you guys see how it is a little bit bigger than what i normally go for and also like i even have it like twisted but if i'm to leave it all down it's like so long that's super super oversized i feel like i can go with just a bit oversized but even my like hands are covered so yeah i definitely need to size down a couple of sizes in this i feel like they already come quite uh, as an oversized fit so maybe even wearing like my usual small maybe small and oversized would fit a little bit better but yeah i do really really love the need i love this pattern so much like black red and white is such a classic classic uh, combo and then the fact that they have the turtlenecks which you can either like push down but i do love also having it just a little bit higher i mean just all the way to keep you warm a really great option in my opinion i'm just gonna have to wait and see if i can find it in a smaller size but also on sale okay, i'm not really sure how well you can see this in this light but i ended up pairing it with my black leather jacket which is normally what i would do as i'm not that body confident to so full on skin but i must admit i am not the biggest fan i'm gonna try to change of the light so hopefully you can see me a little bit better overall i'm not really impressed with this not only is it super tight but also while trying this on i actually ended up like while trying this on i ended up even ripping not only the tag but like the name tag from the back as well because while trying this on i ended up ripping not only the tag that was attached like to the neck so it wasn't my body that like did this it was my neck i just don't think that the colors especially the light colors here do any justice it almost feels like this is like my fat or something it's always the lightest color that they have on this shirt to go on the belly area okay you guys so i think i'm actually going to end this video here i think it ended up being a lot longer than what i expected but i had quite a few pieces to show you what a same about the marine sir like t-shirt it literally broke like 
I didn't even get to try it on and it broke. From what I could see, it was already like some loose um, threading in here and yeah, it just broke and I don't even like it. So do I have to keep it now? I don't know. So please subscribe, like this video because I don't know, this costs like 300 pounds and it doesn't even fit me. It was just really unnecessary. I hope uh, Brown's gonna do something about it since I haven't worn it. But I think from my experience so far when it comes to second skin sort of t-shirts, I think Misbehave is a much safer option as uh, the material that they use is a lot thicker. And I feel like the um, kind of design and the patterns that they use on their t-shirts, they're actually a lot more flattering so hopefully if i don't get a refund at least i can oh sorry that was loud at least i can get um some sort of exchange so i can at least buy the misbehaved desserts which i much prefer i think in my opinion but i hope you enjoyed this i want to say vlog but turns out it was more of a sit down video i was just filming it in my vlogging camera which was a treat for me so i hope you don't mind any sort of noises that you may hear or echo but I'm definitely going to be vlogging also in the next couple of days as there's a lot of things happening in my life and in December, which I'm really, really excited for. But if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel as it really, really does help me grow. Also, make sure to let me know which was your favorite item from the haul. I think for me, it will have to be the Bomber Jacket by Diesel and the Knit by Isabel Moran. They were absolutely by far my two favorites in this haul but I would love to know your opinions too. But till you see again, I hope you're keeping safe and bye-bye.